Ordnance Survey was founded in 1791 and the government of the day decided to do a survey of the ordnance or the armaments of the time because they were worried that the French were going to invade. Since then the surveying has continued and now Ordnance Survey is responsible for creating the digital national mapping of the whole of the UK. Each year within the season, which starts about March and finishes uh, in about October, depending on the weather obviously, we capture about 45,000 square kilometres of photography. Each captured image is about 700 megabytes and when it enters our production flow line it's saved down from being a TIFF to being a JPEG of about 70 or 80 megabytes. The main business drivers behind the archive solution were to get um, the data off the SAN quicker than data was coming onto the SAN. Buying the raw disk is cheap, but the amount of management effort that goes into managing the SAN is considerable. At the moment we've got about a 600 terabyte SAN, and that means that one way or another we have to back up 600 terabytes of data once a week. The backup windows that we had just weren't long enough to back up all the data and we were obviously going to hit a point where we just wouldn't be able to back up everything that we had to. It's getting very difficult indeed to ensure that a backup is going to be available in a number of years because of the unreliability of backup media and that's what led us to look at a more long-term archiving solution. File stores allowed us to automate the archiving that we do. Using Bridgehead software, we've been able to automate this so that files that are put in a specific location and we know they've entered the production flow line get archived automatically. We make multiple copies of the data, so we've got a copy of uh, the whole archive in Southampton and we've also got a copy of the whole archive on the DR site. HT File Store manages the, the archiving and the media and lets us control both libraries, even the remote one. The primary media for the, for the archive is of course uh, Plasmon's UDO technology, which has got immense appeal because it's got a life span of at least 50 years. And as an organisation that's been going for 200 years, the idea of a 50-year lifespan in data is very appealing indeed. We released UDO a few years ago, and it really at that time was the first blue laser high-capacity optical product on the market. The initial capacity was 30 gigabytes, but we have a very clear roadmap to take it to 60, 120 and 240. And the thing that we always do with optical technology is make sure that it's backward read compatible. That way we have consistency and that the, the data is still accessible. But what's really important is also that we have a software solution that makes that data available. And this is where the Bridgehead product comes into play. The archiving media costs about half of what the hard disk storage costs are. So the more data we can get off the SAN onto the UDO disks, the better. As long as I've got electricity and computers, I'll be able to read these disks. At least you know the data is safe. At least you know you're not having to constantly migrate data. So the migration cycle on our kind of data, it might be, it would be time to us of technology refresh. It might be when the media gets to be 60 gig or 120 gig. I'm feeling fairly confident now that we have access to what I call very long-term storage. We'll be able to access our data in 50 years time. Now I won't be around, but the people who are at Ordnance Survey in 50 years time, I'm sure will thank us for putting in this solution. Working with the Bridgehead team, which is obviously Bridgehead and Plasmon with their 50 year UDO technology and the company that implemented, which is Optimedia, seemed to be a very good combination indeed. It's led to a very smooth, seamless implementation in a very good time scale. We did a whole spec to implementation of about four months and everybody is very pleased indeed. Taken UDO as being the medium of choice by Ordnance Survey, 
The problem we were then faced with was finding a suitable software product and partner in order to inst install and integrate UDO and their existing data and to do the migration. The selection process looking at the data size, the data access profile and the transparency that they wanted in their migration policy-based archiving led us very quickly to the utilisation of Filestore and it was that integration and that solution that we put forward to Ordnance Survey as a proposal. We know that the amount of data that we capture and that we need to deal with and that we generate is increasing every day. Uh, but the solution that we've put in is a, a very flexible, scalable solution and I'm happy that it will cover our future requirements.